All right, guys, now that we have a good understanding of the various features of reactive forms, let's wind up the series by taking a look at how to post the form data to a server. And let me tell you, this is really simple and very similar to what we have seen with template driven forms. In the interest of saving time, I am going to reuse the express server that we have already created. Let's begin. The first step is to bind to the ng submit event which gets emitted when the submit button is clicked. So on the form, bind to ng submit and assign a handler called on submit. Next, let's define this on submit event handler. So in the app component class, on submit, and for now, let's simply log to the console the registration form value. So console.log this dot registration form dot value. Let's save this. Head to the browser, open developer tools, fill in the details, and click on register. You can see that the data is logged in the console. Now to be able to send this data to a server, we need to make use of a service. So let's create a new registration service using the CLI. Open the terminal, control back tick, and in a new terminal, navigate inside the project folder and run the command ng, g for generate, s for service, and name of the service, which is registration. The command will generate registration.service.ts. Over here, the first step is to import HTTP client and then inject it. So import HTTP client and then inject it in the constructor. We also need to include the module in app.module.ts. So open the file, import HTTP client module and add it to the imports array. All right, now we are in a position to make HTTP requests. So back in the service, let's add a new property called URL, and this will be the URL to which we post the data. Underscore URL is equal to HTTP localhost port 3000 slash enroll. We are reusing the API already created with the express server. Next, we create a method called register, which will make the post request. This method will accept an argument, user data. And within the body, we make our post request. This dot HTTP dot post of type any, this dot URL, and we post the user data. The post request will return the response as an observable. The next step is to subscribe to the observable in app component. So let's go back to app.component.ts and first import the registration service and inject it. So import registration service and then inject it in the constructor. So after form builder, registration service. Now in the on submit method, we call the registration service method and then subscribe to the observable. So this dot registration service dot register. This accepts the form data. So this dot registration form dot value and then subscribe to the observable. When we get a response, let's log success. And if there is an error, let's log the error. So console.error. 
And as a finishing touch, let's disable the registration button till the form is valid. So on the register button, let's bind to the disabled property and this is going to be equal to not registration form dot valid. So if the form is not valid, the button is disabled. All right, that is pretty much the Angular side of form submission. We listen to the ng submit event and call the on submit method. The on submit method makes a call to the registration service passing in the form data. In the registration service, we make the actual HTTP request and send the data to the server. Let us now start our express server. Open the terminal and navigate inside the server folder. So cd dot dot and then cd server. Now run the command node server. You can see that the server is running on localhost port 3000. Now that the server is up and running, let's go back to the browser and submit the form. You can see that initially the register button is disabled. That is because the form is invalid. So let us fill in the details. I'm going to add a username, email, also going to add an alternate email, subscribe to the offers, enter a password, confirm the password, enter a city, state, and then a postal code. Now when I click on register, you can see the response in the console. Success and the message is data received. And if I go back to the terminal, you can see that the server has received the form data. Username, email, subscribe, password, confirm password, address, and alternate emails, which is an array. All right, now when it comes to error handling, there is no change from template-driven forms to reactive forms. So I will leave that in your capable hands. Okay then, to quickly summarize, in this course on reactive forms, we have seen how to create a form template, create a form model using form control and form group classes, manage their values using set value and patch value, simplify the form model using the form builder service, add simple validation, custom validation, cross field validation, and conditional validation. We have also seen how to dynamically add form controls and post the data to a server. By now, I hope you're in a good position to create more complex forms in Angular. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next series.